All right, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, we are going to do a reaction to a Jimmy X High Roller video today. Uh, it's called Stories Behind the Strangest NBA Photos You've Never Seen. I have no idea what this is about, but it caught my attention, and let's experience it together. Uh, link to the original video is going to be down below in the description, as always. And shoot Jimmy X High Roller some love. And shoot my channel some love, too, while you're at it. If you don't mind, I appreciate it. We're growing fast. All right, here we go. In the winter of 2011, the North Korean government held a funeral to honor the death of their former leader, Kim Jong-il. In attendance were high-ranking North Korean officials, members of the funeral committee, and the North Korean military. Like, the whole North Korean military. And as photos began to surface of this funeral, one photo in particular caught someone's eye. Now, at first glance, there doesn't seem to be anything strikingly off about this picture. Just it's gonna be Dennis Rodman or something? One of many photos taken at this funeral, except for one thing. This man standing all the way in the back who appears to be a giant, like an actual giant. Just look at him. He's got to be twice as tall as everybody around him. What? After doing some math and crude calculations, <laughs> people concluded the man what? was about eight feet tall. Who in the world is this enormous figure who attended this funeral? Okay, what uh, you, get, you got my attention, Jimmy. What the, the hell? After these photos were released, people around the world spotted the giant man in the image, and the theories began to spread. Some say it was just another Photoshop job by the North Korean government to push the idea that they had a super soldier. Others speculated that it was an actual super soldier. What the Some hell? Some theorists said that the man in the picture was actually just a normal-sized guy. The whole super soldier thing just being a cover-up for the fact that they're all really tiny. Believe it or not, this was one of the uh, least. Uh, dude, <laughs> that's that's not that's not true. The guy's like double the size. All right, you know I'm 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 over one, and I know plenty of people who are you know low five foot, you know five foot five foot five. Uh, I I'm not I'm not yeah I'm not double their size, dude. You know I'm just I'm just a foot a foot taller. <laughs> craziest theories but yeah, no. it didn't take long for someone to realize north korea is home to an actual giant but this giant man wasn't a super soldier in fact he wasn't a soldier at all this mystery man was seven foot nine inch north korean basketball player ri myung hun throughout the 90s hun was a prominent player in north korea playing for their national team and being their predominant superstar hun even briefly traveled to the u.s to make the jump to the nba the man wasn't just a walking skyscraper. He was an exceptional player. Agile, strong, great skill set for a big man, or rather, the biggest man. But because of the relationship between North Korea and the US, Too his skinny, NBA though. dreams were quickly shut down. The NBA and fans of the game were robbed of a potential foreign star. Ri Myung Hun oh, wow. was robbed of his hoop dreams, and the mystery of the giant super soldier was solved. And this is just one of many strange, fascinating, and odd basketball photos that have backstories that you have to see to believe. Wow, that was a good first one. So what's the conclusion? We think it's that guy? It was the uh, the basketball player? Or it's the actual, because that's military garbs that the, the, that the dude was wearing. So do they? Would an eight foot tall soldier be effective? Because probably not, you know, in a battlefield. Oh man, that one's weird, man. Jimmy, that one's weird. All right, each one of these, I guess. Let's uh, let's 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 talk down below. What do you think that is? I guess that's a soldier, but I don't understand why that would be an effective soldier at that height. You know, if there weren't guns. That's one thing. If we're doing all hand-to-hand -hand combat, yeah. But with guns, that's a big target. Today's video is sponsored by Raid oh, Shadow Legends. Oh, Raid Legend. Shadow and Legends. And so much more. Jimmy. The quality, the mechanics, and just the Jimmy. edition artifact set. But that's not it. So all be sure right. to use the link in the description below or scan the QR code <laughs> on your screen I'm to just join kidding. Raid Shadow Make that money, Legends Jimmy. today. You, you deserve it. On November 18th, 2008, 14th-ranked Oklahoma faced off against 21-ranked Davidson. This was an early season game, so there wasn't much on the line, if anything at all. But fans still packed the house, and the game was aired on ESPN for two reasons. Sophomore sensation Blake Griffin oh, wow. and the junior phenom Stephen Dude, Curry, two Steph of the best in players in college basketball. Square 
Let's see what they were doing real quick. Uh, let's see. So, blah, blah, blah. All right, 31, 47%, three point. And he was getting 9.5 assists back then. Blake, 85% field goal shooting because he, he didn't have a jumper yet. All he did was dunk. 18.5 rebounds a game, Blake. Damn, man. If he had a jumper, that would have come down a little bit, but that would have easily been 30. Dude, Blake in college. That's something we got to look into. Wearing Probably off in the NIT when he was season young. tip off tournament. And while fans across the country tuned in to see a show, so did two local basketball players that you may have heard of before. A 20 year old Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook just two weeks into his oh, NBA whoa. career. Oddly enough, both Durant and Westbrook were young enough to actually play in this college game. But on this day, they were just spectators who had the best seats in town. By now, oh. they had heard about the dead-eye, quick-shooting, baby-faced assassin. But they wanted to see the prospect in action, live and up close. They wanted to see just how good this scrawny two-guard really was. Was he the real deal? Or just some shot chucker putting up deep threes at an unprecedented yeah, he was... rate? He, in fact... Baby, he still has a baby face, but damn, man. This little kid, look at him. Was the real deal. This is our yeah. Shambol. Good look he down is the real deal. Curry. As Curry uses the ball fake, knocks down the triple. Sure finds Curry off the glass. And you know, it took me a couple of years of watching Steph to finally accept it and get rid of my old school ways and realize it's not luck. This is skill. Like, he practices this shit, and he's just damn good at it. You know, his shots are ridiculous. Any coach, even Steve Kerr said, like in the beginning coaching him, but he didn't know what to do because he would get pissed off at all these terrible looking shots that Steph would take. Then he realized he was making more than he'd miss. So it was just like, all right, let him do it. Let him do his thing. Little off balance shot uses the glass 19 for Curry. Curry right back. Curry a wide open. Hey, man. Shot and he was steal. getting up. Now Curry from way deep. Oh, yeah, that's oh, that. My goodness. Reverse. Good God. Curry still helped this. Oh, nice back cut. They had it in the first half. Oh, John nice. Nice Curry. layup. Ripping Pull up three. Oh, that's classic. Curry with 42. That is a new 42, career. 6 or 15 threes. the highest scoring game of his entire college career, Bang. Stephen Curry went on to score 44 points, but fell short of a comeback thanks to Blake Griffin's 25 points and 21 rebounds. Durant and Westbrook had seen enough. In their first ever live look at Stephen Curry, Damn, they knew game. the kid was special. After the game, they met Steph, shared some words with one another, and snapped this picture. Two young... Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Like, yeah, bro, I'll hit you up in a couple of years when I need to win a ring. Like, right? I'm about to leave him. <laughs> it's like, you my next boy. Wow, look at that photo. NBA players meeting an NBA hopeful just looking to make a name for himself at the next level. At the time, Durant and Westbrook were the promising young duo in the NBA. But ironically, it would actually be Durant and Steph who would go on to rewrite NBA history. If this photo tells us anything, it's that we never truly know who's next up. The baby-faced, undersized sharpshooter from Davidson was good, but no yeah. one could have predicted he would go on to be one of the greatest players in the history of the game. Yeah, not Westbrook, four rings now? not Durant, and certainly not Steph himself. And no, man. I mean, what's crazy there, that was the kid. And these guys were NBA players. He came out on top, you know, and he's, I don't, I don't put it past him. He can win another ring. You know, he's playing great. A couple of, a couple of decent moves for the, for the Warriors. They can do it again. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. This one is worth about a million. And over the years, <laughs> there have been countless pictures taken within the NBA God world dang. that can tell an entire story. Some we are familiar with and others yeah. hidden gems. Like in 1998, when Michael Jordan was hosting his famous flight school camp for up and coming basketball talent. You know, the camp where Michael would go out of his way to prove he still got it, even if it means crushing the hopes and dreams of some wide eyed little kid who's just happy to be there. Yeah, that camp. <laughs> now, at a camp like this, you would expect that there would be a handful of future NBA players in attendance throughout its near 20 year existence. And you would be right, because back in 1998 at the flight school camp, a photographer snapped this picture of Michael Jordan being guarded by a 17-year-old 
Yao Ming. When this picture was what? taken, Yao was already a prodigy in the Chinese Basketball Association, but he wouldn't join the NBA until four years after this camp. Whether he knew it or not, MJ had an absolute world-class prospect on his hands. Now, unfortunately, there is no video footage of this pickup game, or at least none that I can find, Dude. which is an absolute travesty. So we'll just have to use our imagination and the clips from the two games. Just for context, 98, that's, that's when Jordan, I mean, Jordan retired his second time at that point. So to go against a young freaking Yao Ming, I would pay to watch that. I'd pay for all that footage. All right, what we got here? Uh, so this is going to be a couple years later when Jordan was either 39 or 40 playing for the Wizards. Uh, they got Stackhouse, so I would say 40 because that would be his second year, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so they got Yao. This is, yeah, this is before they got, they got um, T-Mac. Where Michael and Steve Yao Francis. faced off against each other in the NBA. Who would have thought that this 17-year-old Chinese prospect that attended Jordan's camp and had to guard him would be taking photos with Michael Jordan at the NBA All-Star Game oh, wow. just four years later? Now, I'm not sure how well a 17-year-old Yao Ming could guard Michael Jordan, but I can almost guarantee that he couldn't send MJ shot into the third <laughs> row like a 22-year-old Yao Ming could. But Michael Jordan wasn't the only NBA star with his own camp. In fact, pretty much every notable NBA player has their own camp for elite young talent including LeBron James. But LeBron's camp itself isn't much different from the rest of these skills camps. Get some of the best young hoopers in the country together to showcase their skills and get some scouts to come out and watch. But what is different about LeBron's camps is I wonder if LeBron Lode manages during his camp. Is that he has gone toe to toe in the NBA with countless players that have attended his camps. Here's a picture from LeBron's skills camp in 2006. Wow, Trey, Cool, Sexton. 16 with Colin 2016 Sexton and Trey Young. Here's Devin Booker attending wow. the Skills Academy up. back in 2000. I looked at the names, but dude, look at Jordan Poole. <laughs> He's a little kid. All right, this is cool. Colin Sexton and Trey Young. Here's Devin Booker attending the Skills wow, Academy book. back in 2014. Here's a photo from 2009 when Kyrie, Kyrie Irving was invited to the camp. If only they knew what would go down just seven years later. Oh man, it's almost like LeBron uses that as like a recruitment camp. Interesting. Iguodala to Curry, back to Iguodala, up for the layup. Oh, blocked by James. The block, sir. Irving and Curry, one on one. Irving puts it Dot up. Here, shot it's man. Kyrie Irving from downtown. Oh yeah, see, everyone forgets Kevin Love was there. <laughs> you see, it wasn't just a big two; it was a big three. But throughout all the years of LeBron's Skills Academy, its inaugural camp in 2007 remains one of the most stacked group of young players in the Skills Academy's history. Players came from not just around the country, but from around the entire world oh, to attend that. the camp. And to wrap up a great week of hoops, LeBron and the camp attendees took this picture. Now, look closely because not including LeBron, within this picture is 13 All-Star selections, 55 seasons of NBA experience, and 60,000 NBA points scored. God damn. See any familiar faces? How about a 17-year-old Kemba Walker, Lance Stevenson, oh, wow. a 16-year-old yeah, DeMarcus Cousins, oh, I didn't see DeMar Cousins. DeRozan, and Greg Monroe. The damn. whole point of these camps is to gather a ton of great- That's funny, because him and Stevenson, that ended up being, uh... Yeah, <laughs> y'all know. Young prospects into one gym. But to capture this much talent in one photo, years before anyone knew who they were outside of the prep circuit, that is, is remarkable. Crazy. And what's even more remarkable is that despite LeBron being the veteran in this picture, a player who had already made it to the finals while these other players were still doing pre-algebra in third period, LeBron outlasted just about every single one of them. Greg Monroe hasn't played a full NBA season in five years. Leading up to last season, Lance Stevenson hadn't played in the NBA in two years. DeMarcus Cousins exited his prime a few years ago. In the past couple of seasons, Kemba Walker's age has begun to show. And DeMar DeRozan? Well, DeRozan's still balling out. But LeBron is just as good today as he was when this photo was taken 15 years ago. Just one crazy. of many strange and fascinating basketball photos that have backstories you have to see. He's like the godfather for those guys. Hope you all enjoyed. And as Man, that's crazy. All these pictures are pretty damn crazy. Wow. As always, 
Until next time. Yeah, that was a really cool video. I shoot him a like. Yeah. If you guys haven't subbed to uh, Jimmy X High Roller, I highly suggest you do. Content's great. Uh, yeah, if you want to watch the original video, link down below. And uh, yeah, let's shout out some com comments in here. Uh, what was your favorite picture? What do you think about that super soldier? Uh, man, there, there's so much to talk about. All right, guys, shoot me some comments. Uh, Spread this channel with your loved ones or your basketball addicts like we all are. And I'll see you all in the next one. I appreciate everybody. Take care.